Hey guys, today we're making instant ramen in miniature. Hope you'll enjoy. To make the board, I took some matches and glued them together. Then use brown acrylic paint to add some color. For the packaging, I used watercolors on top of normal printer paper. The reason why I use watercolors as opposed to acrylic paint is because it doesn't get as lumpy when you add multiple layers. But if you do prefer working with acrylic paint, markers or colored pencils, you can definitely use that as well. Also, the reason why I use normal printer paper as opposed to watercolor paper is because I want it to be as thin as possible. The one thing you want to keep in mind when using watercolors for something like this is that you do need to seal it. And to avoid any smearing, it's best to apply at least the first layer of sealant with a spray sealer. After that, you can apply any glaze of your choice. Fold it and glue it together, and then if you want, you can add some details to the edges using scissors. I also made this tiny pack for the broth. To make the uncooked ramen or noodles, you just want to roll out a sheet of clay. Then use a pointy dotting tool or needle tool to add some texture. You then want to roll out really thin snakes and place these on top. And for the cooked ramen, you just want to use a couple of tools to give them that curly look. Then place them in a bowl and pre-bake. The bowl I used is a ceramic one I made myself, but I do have a video showing how to make tableware from palmer clay. For the broth, mix liquid clay with soft pastel and bake again. Roll out some simple chopsticks, bake and glue them to the ramen. Lastly, you just want to make the bottle of hot sauce. For the base color for this one, I mixed red, orange and brown. I also pre-baked it in between each step to avoid squishing any details or shapes. And after baking one last time, I used white acrylic paint to paint the details. Finish off with a layer of glaze, glue the things in place, and you're done. 